Hi, this is Norman Van from GM Truck and Forklift Training Center, and today we're going to be covering the Schedule 1. So, first of all, we're going to be putting the wheel blocks in the back, and the, where the wheel blocks are going to be, they're located in your compartment. The way to open the compartment, so we're getting the wheel blocks, we're going to pull, you pull this thing out, we're going to open the compartment. The compartment, you see the wheel blocks are right there. So we're going to be taking it, we're going to go in the back. So the wheel blocks are put in, make sure that they're in the same tire, the front and the back. So if it's uphill, you should make sure that the front tire should be more close. If it's downhill, make sure that the back tires are more close. So we're going to be covering the schedule one. So these are the five steps I wrote down. We're going to be covering each and every one of them, one by one. First one is the audible air leak and air loss rate. And then we're going to do the slow air pressure buildup rate. Then we're going to do the tractor protection system. Then you got the lower warning. And last but not least, we got the push rod stroke. Inside, we're going to cover the audible air leak, air loss rate, like I said. We're going to go in the truck and we're going to be doing the step by step process. Alright, so we're going to be covering first thing audible air leak and air loss rate. So, the way to do that, very first thing to make sure that when you start the truck, you got to wait until these signs go away because then otherwise it would, um, it would cause problems to the system. So, when you see it goes away, you can start the truck. Again, like I said, my wheel blocks are applied. My brakes are applied, and the, now the truck is also in neutral. So, for the odd way the air loss rate, it's very important to know that your it's important to know that your pressure is 100 psi. Both this is your primary, this is your secondary. Make sure that both pressure are exactly at 100. You already build the pressure off from before, so if we're good to go for this test. We were doing the air loss rate in um, auto air leak. So the first thing first, you're gonna make sure that your brakes are both released. Like again, you're gonna note that the pressure is at 100 psi, so which means we are good to go. So in order to do this pressure, you turn the truck off, put it on ignition. Now we're gonna listen outside. Hold the brake very gently. As you can see, you can be listening outside for five to ten seconds. You're gonna say there is no audible air leak coming from my supply line. Now you start the timer for one minute. Okay, so the one minute time has started. I have pressed the brake, waiting for one minute. As I'm waiting for one minute, I'm also looking at my gauges to make sure how much it drops in one minute. One minute has gone by. As you can see, that the pressure didn't, did not drop more than four psi, which is good. Because if it did drop more than four psi, it would be a major defect. As we now we're going to look at the schedule one paper. Now you find the audible air leak air loss rate for the minor. It would be audible air leak air loss, audible air leak. It would be a ma minor defect. So for that, you would mention the logbook, call the operator, and I can drive. For the major defect, air loss rate exceed prescribed limit, which is the four psi. If that wasn't the case, you would say it was a major defect, mention the logbook, call the operator, and I cannot drive. 